Well, I basically encountered several young men a few years ago who had been taking the medicine finasteride for male pattern hair loss. They had been losing some hair and were concerned about it. They didn't want it to progress. And so they decided to take this medicine for cosmetic reasons. And they reported to me that while taking this medicine, they developed sexual dysfunction in terms of having a low sexual desire or erectile dysfunction or problems with orgasm. Well, out of the 71 men that I spoke to, um, the sexual dysfunction ranged from about 70% with problems with orgasm all the way up to 94% with uh, low sexual desire. And it turns out that almost all of these men had multiple um, sexual function problems. So not just the sexual desire, but they also had, had the arousal difficulties, erectile function, and orgasm problems. Now my study does have a limitation in that you know, we can't quantify what the exact risk is. I can't tell a man whether you have a one in a hundred chance or a one in a thousand chance of developing persistent sexual dysfunction, but it's pretty clear that there is a relationship here. So I think it's very important that doctors uh, who are considering prescribing this medicine to men um, talk about this possible risk that exists and that just young men know that this risk does exist so that this will help in their decision making of whether or not they would like to take this medicine. Um, but it's been very frustrating for a lot of the, these young men because they've sought care in, uh, with medical professionals who you know, have looked at the literature and have not noticed um, that there is the persistent sexual dysfunction. So a lot of these patients have been told to see psychiatrists, psychologists, that it's all in your head, and then this of course makes them more frustrated because they don't really think that this is psychological. They think this is due to the medication. But I would estimate, you know, hundreds of thousands of men worldwide, um, just given that the fact that male pattern hair loss is a very common phenomenon, and a lot of people are taking medicines that, um, you know, want to help with their physical appearance. So the medication finasteride is a type of 5-alpha reductase inhibitor, and it blocks the conversion of testosterone to a more potent androgen called dihydrotestosterone. And this more potent androgen called DHT is involved in male pattern hair loss in the skin follicles and also in enlarged prostates. So this medicine is used for younger men with the hair loss, but it's also used at a higher dose for older men who have enlarged prostates and urinary problems. Well, it actually seems quite variable. So I've had some people report the persistent sexual dysfunction only after using the medicine for less than a week. And I've had other men who have used the medication for over 10 years. And um, likewise, the duration um, ha has been vast. Um, so we have about 20% of patients um, who I interviewed had had persistent sexual dysfunction for over five years, which really makes you wonder, is the persistent sexual dysfunction possibly permanent? It are the changes in the hormone in the brain changing the neurons and the, and the structure of the neurons such that they're interfering with how we normally process a libido, orgasm, etc.